What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Today is going to be a good day. I'm headed back to the Keys. The only thing is though, my truck is filthy dirty. That is one good thing about owning white. Like, uh, look at this. Yeah. At least when you own white, you can't see it. My duck boat's filthy dirty. Kelly and I went fishing. Oh gosh, here comes the terrorizers. Kelly and I went fishing and I don't even want to tell you all about that story. That was yesterday. Today's a new day. Got my gator coolers loaded up. You've seen that one many a times. Check out the new one I had made. Got my logo, my Instagram. This is the new one in the back with the American flag. I'm going to give this brand new Old Salty right here to somebody who deserves it in the Keys on the way there. Cause I'm gonna stop and peacock fish a little bit. I'm actually staying tonight with Nick Stanzik. I think Sarah and I are gonna take my kids spear fishing. Kelly's staying home because her big beautiful Chevrolet unfortunately is broke down. Where's it at right now, boo? The shop. <laughs> we were coming home from the Keys and her brakes didn't completely go out, but it wasn't good. A 2021 brand new truck and the brakes are done. So Kelly's probably going to head down in a couple days when her truck gets fixed. The boys are down there now with their mom. I'm going to pick them up. We're going to stay on a houseboat. We're going to go sword fishing. We're going to go spear fishing. We're going to do all kinds of crazy stuff. A little bit different than I did in the last lobster video. This time we're going to be in a totally different place, different style holes. Probably going to noodle some grouper by hand. I don't think I've showed that on this channel yet. But right now, right this second, I gotta give a huge shout out to the title sponsor of this video, and that is Bear Performance Nutrition, AKA BPN. Now, if you follow along to my channel at all, you already know we travel pretty much seven days a week, 365 days a year. And a lot of times we're in places where we can't cook the right vegetables that we need for proper nutrition. Sometimes we, we can't cook meals at all and we're eating fast food or we're just eating gas station food complete junk and that's where bpn comes into play so strong greens and strong reds are superfood powders that can help and if you wonder what i mean by that it's literally this simple open the lid get the little scooper that comes in the bottle drop it in about a cup of water take this cool little spirally ball drop it in their cup tighten the lid shake it and you now have a drink that's packed full of nutrition with vitamins, minerals, all kinds of helpful stuff that will help with your digestion, which is a big thing for me, especially you deer hunters. Any of y'all that watch me that do a lot of deer hunting, you know sometimes your stomach will get bound up. And most of the time, it's because you're lacking in fiber. And that's where the greens and the reds both will help. Both strong greens and strong reds improve natural energy levels, help with digestion, which is important. That's why your stomach's jacked up. They both support a healthy immune system and they're packed with all the goodies that you need that you typically would get by cooking vegetables. Except for with this, put it in a cup, shake it up and drink it and you can do it anywhere, anytime. Now all of BPN's products are third party tested for banned substances by Informed Sport. If you're ready to optimize your health and performance, head over to BPN's website through the link in the description of this video to save 10% off your first order. I don't know if it's just me or if it's all of you. Am I the only one who overpacks for every trip? As you can see, I've got my strong greens and strong reds because we actually do use them, they're great. Got my little shaker cup. Got my VHF radio for the boat. Now all I got left to do is say bye to Mr. Redneck. Mr. Redneck and his little squirrel. And my beautiful Kelly Young. And he's my special needs stepson right here. Let, let's see. Hello. Hey, do. Hey, do, squints. Squints. Hey. You must have something. He Did Redneck just get in my truck? I heard it. Yes. He's, Good luck getting him out. Oh, he's going to bite me. One thing about Redneck... Let me just go ahead and show you. When he gets in the truck, he gets crazy, crazy protective. <laughs> when we were leaving the Keys the other day, he got in Kelly's truck thinking he was riding home with her. He bit all of us. I had to just go in for the kill and grab him and bring him to my truck. Watch this. Um, excuse me? Um, can, can I get you out without getting bit? 
Redneck. I'm too scared. Get him. Uh, you got him. No, it's okay. Go in for the kill. Redneck. No, he oh, he's showing him. you his teeth. Redneck. Finley, can you get your stepbrother out of the truck? Can hey. Talk about Ushu? This is... Oh, that's... Oh, it's, it's Madison's. Her other one's over uh, there. Grab it out so I can give it to him. Redneck, you're not outsmarting me by getting in the front. Seriously? Grab him, babe. He's all you. Come on, Redneck. Come on. Get a squirrel. There you go. I can trick him with the squirrel trick. This can be a fun trip. I'm going to stop along the way, like I said a minute ago, and try to catch a peacock in some ponds that Kelly and I and Joe VT Fishing fished last year. Remember that? Yeah, remember the turtle trap? That was when we filmed the viral car the video. Car. Yeah. Can I have a big smoochy moochy? No. Oh. All right. So We'll see y'all at the next stop on this awesome adventure. So here's the deal. The traffic was way too bad on the turnpike to be able to pull over and try to catch a peacock. So I just came straight to Nick and Sarah's house, picked Sarah up, dropped her off at the boat ramp with my blackjack, went back to Nick's, dropped the trailer off. Now I'm back here at Bud and Mary's where hopefully she picks me up. I've got Jake coming, my 12 year old, and we're headed out spear fishing. We're gonna go shoot something for dinner. I don't know what, but look at these tarpon. What's up, little buddy? Don't you bite my finger. Whoa, they almost got me. I think that's what we're gonna be after right there is mangrove snapper. So I wanna go in here real quick into the Marina ship store at Bud Mary's and show you some of these awesome pictures. Some of y'all that follow along for a while, you've maybe already seen them, but for those of y'all who haven't been following along, these are very awesome pictures. And it's locked. No, no, it's not. Have it going the wrong way. Look at that. The first person you see, Nick himself. These pictures are pretty old. African pompano, ton of swordfish, some tarpon, big dolphin. There's Sarah. That's who's in my boat right now. That's Nick's wife. Again, there's Sarah. There's Mr. Stanzik, Nick's dad. Just tons of cool pictures. If you ever get a chance and you're in this area, come by Bud Mary's Marina and just walk in here, get you a drink and look at all these cool pictures. It's like going down memory lane. Look at there. That's a good one. Big old tarpon. What's down here? Big snowy or... I don't know what kind of grouper that is. Sarah with some queen snapper. Big mako shark. Sea trout redfish. They catch this fish out in the deep, but I don't know what the name of it is. I love looking at old pictures. And you can come in here and get some Stan's Fam merch. For those of y'all that don't know, that's Nick's channel. He does a lot of sword fishing, a lot of deep dropping right here in Isla Mirada, Florida. They also offer tons of charter fishing, a lot of backcountry, which is all those little flats boats, some bigger offshore boats. She should be back any minute. I know one thing that is a fact. The weatherman has lied again today. It's supposed to be calm and it's blowing really hard. Hasn't stopped in an entire month down here. We actually were here all last week. Went home, the boys stayed with their mom. I went home, edited a couple videos, got them up for y'all to watch, and I'm right back. Oh my God, look at the sharks. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Let me give you myself a Well, it's safe to say the mahi were biting. Y'all can come charter any one of these guys. As you can see, the fish are biting. I found her, y'all. She was creeping. She done put me over here on sport boat row. I was over there waiting. Figured you pirated my boat. People buying gas and stuff so I couldn't park it. If it's a Nick slip, this is Nick slip. Oh, we can definitely take it if it's Nick's. Yeah. I gotta go get my booties for my clippers. Um, Are you ready to kill something? Yeah, let's go. What about the wind? It's windy. It's not raining and it's not cold, so let's go. <laughs> Something is going to die. And I will see y'all out there. Jake should be here in a minute. I actually want to go up front because it's busy here. 
locate him, get him on this boat. We're headed three miles offshore because in Isla Mirada, you have to be in federal waters to spearfish. So unfortunately with the wind blowing, we got to go out in the rough. Should we take this? Dang, just, we could just beat something on the head with it. See, I like the way you think. <laughs> Jake, you glad I'm back or what? I'm glad you're back. Yeah. He's ready. Sarah is super excited. The water is way clearer than we were expecting. Here's what I'm going to show you. This is why we wear polarized glasses. Look how much prettier it looks now. Oh, it's going to be fun. It is a little bumpy, it is rocking and rolling just a little bit, but we got the anchor out. And I wanna show you Jake's new spear gun and the system I have set up for him that will make my life a lot easier and it'll make it a lot less stressful for him. So typically I don't use a cord. See his gun, it's awesome. But I have it attached to this float cord attached to that buoy right over there. And what that means if Jake shoots a barracuda or something big and he can't get it up he can just let go of it because we have that float he can keep his hand on the float as he comes up or just pop up find the float and go over there and grab it and another cool thing is if you watch my last spear fishing video with jake and luke down in the keys with dibs dibs on bottom we had that big shark come in well now if a big shark comes in and i'm not right on top of jake he can just let go of his gun the shark can do whatever it is it wants to do to whatever jake has on his gun and then we can retrieve it once the coast is clear so we're sitting in 26.5 foot of water this is the deepest water jake's ever freed of we're gonna see if he can put dinner in this boat Like that new gun? Yeah. Alright, swim into the boat. Dude, he stoned him through the brain. Uh -huh. He wasn't getting away, huh? Uh huh. That's a good one. <laughs> nice shot. You need to get a big old grouper like that, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
Jake, we can catch a tarpon on that little one tonight. I stoned him, folks, but I accidentally killed another one, too. We won't waste him, though. He's stuck on there good. That fish was wounded real bad pre me shooting him. Jake! Jake! Was it neat watching me do that? You know why I didn't shoot him the first time? Because I didn't want to slam into the rock. When I went down, I wasn't looking at the fish as much. I, I made it seem to him like I wasn't going near him. That's how you hunt a fish. better put him in the cooler. Whew. Feels good to be in the water. Nice mango.
what is this little thing? Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Gibbs <laughs> loves shooting those things. He was in the rock. Yeah, nice shot. Where's your gun? Right here. Oh yeah, there's huge ones just went by us. So we're back to the dock and you know you made it in life when Nick stands it comes and helps you tie the boat up when you get back. What'd you catch today? Um, we lost a few swordfish but we got a handful of mice. Now let, let's just go ahead and show you guys our catch. Look at that grunt. I mean look at this. You guys this right here Nick <laughs> that's skill to shoot something that small right in the head. He's I didn't even waste shooter. any meat. He's bigger than you are Nick. He's a sharp shooter. <laughs> Now Jake today was just in training with his new gun, just trying to get comfortable. Right through the top of the head. Knuckles. Mm -hmm. Look, this one's way bigger than Nick. It's bigger than all three of them over there. Sarah, did you film when you shot yours? I did. Okay, well, y'all have already seen that footage then. We've got my mangrove and most importantly, a yellow jack. So sushi and the rest we're gonna grill. So I'm gonna wash the boat off. Jake's actually going back with his grandma. His grandma and his mom's down here for a couple weeks. He's gonna go with them tomorrow. I'm fishing with Nick tomorrow on the big boat, going sword fishing and dolphin fishing. And then we're coming back, or Jake's coming back, and we're staying on one of the houseboats for two days. And if we don't get kicked out for fishing in the marina, it's gonna be an epic time, I can assure you. But hey, all they can do is try to kick you out for fishing in the marina. Turn into a <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna catch a tarpon on that little grunt. So we'll actually see y'all at the cleaning table when we're done washing this boat. Now look, this might not be the most impressive batch of fish we've ever got, but I assure you this is gonna be as good eating as anything we've ever got. It's snapper, grunts, and yellow jack. You cannot go wrong. And this is the fish I'm most excited to eat. They are so good raw. I love cleaning fish like that because their their meat is like so soft. Just compared to snapper. a snapper, yeah. Look at that sushi. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna clean half of each one. How are y'all doing? All right. Yeah. Now this is why I like a long blade. Watch how I do this. I didn't cut through the ribs. I cut right over them perfectly. Didn't leave any meat. Now, some of y'all might've wondered why Jake shot this. To me, this is a good learning fish. This is an awesome fish for Jake to shoot. And it's a really, really good, good eating meat. fish too. Especially if you scaled him and cleaned him whole. He's also a good tarpon bait. Yeah, but we're eating this one. Right. Look at that little fly. Ooh, I'm excited. That's burnt and great. Sarah great. shot this nice, I don't know if it's a dog snapper or a school snapper, but schoolmaster snapper. Whatever it is, it's going on the grill too. So it's getting dark. We got to clean stuff off the boat still. Jake's got to get to his grandma's because she's supposedly cooking steak and he's selling us and out to go eat the steak. And what? And mashed potatoes. So you're really selling us out for steak and taters? Mm -hmm. So like typical kids, he wanted to take over to cleaning, so I'm gonna hand feed a tarpon. There's a big one right here, but I don't know if I can get down low enough. Yeah, I can, right here. Oh, watch this. Boom. That will never get old. Let me introduce y'all to Miss Sarah Stanzik. I know we introduced you earlier, but she is completely taken over right now in her bathrobe. What are, what are we doing exactly? This is the cheater's 
way of frying fish. You really were jumping the gun. We're not even seasoning it? Yeah, it's seasoned. Seriously? I'm telling you, this is the best. This is how we cook fish in the Bahamas. It's just olive oil on the fish to like dampen it. And then you sprinkle breadcrumbs on it. Did you see how white that grunt meat was? That grunt's gonna be good. See, look, it helps it nice and good. It smells good, I know that. I gotta get this other stuff out of here though. Oh boy. Y'all don't even know about this right here. Look at that, that's the yellow jack. Put that right over there for me. What's your boyfriend's name again? Garrett. Garrett? Garrett, you only wish you were here to try this right now. Yeah. What football team does he play on? Lake Mary. Lake Mary. Right there, folks at home. Shout out to Lake Mary. She was just FaceTiming her boyfriend, and he's a fan of the channel. This is Sarah and Nick's full-time nanny now for the girls. She's the Stan's nan. The Stan's nan. Look at this, though. Look at, look at this little soft horse mane right there. You wish you could grow one of them. I gotta get more keeps. You get something. Look at this. Which one's the grunt? I want the grunt. This nice white one right there. It looks like a grunt flag. Oh man, this is gonna be good. You know what's funny is if you follow along a lot, we travel all over the country and sometimes all over the world doing crazy, <laughs> going after giant trophy fish, rare fish. And some of these videos that we do here in the Keys are just go out and get a mangrove, a yellow jack, a uh, grunt. A we can gr grunt in our kitchen at 9.30 at night. In a bathroom <laughs> are some of my favorite. Like I get more hyped up to talk to the camera in these style videos than some that I do that most people would only dream about doing. I just, my parents raised me simple. We grew up simple and I know Nick and Sarah did the same and probably Madison. Yep. Simple is, simple like, we didn't have fancy things when we were young, so I can really relate to this and be more myself in these style videos. And if y'all could only smell that right there. Don't burn my fish. Mm -mm, that's enough. You did spear the biggest fish today. I'm known for doing that. I usually get the biggest fish of the trip, right Nick? Did Nick almost drown in a recent video? He did. What's Don't the name of that video? It's the second Bahamas video. Bahamas spear fishing. Free dive scare. If you guys want to see Nick Stanzik almost drowned, he's lucky I wasn't there. Go to their channel, Stans Fam. Check out the second Bahama video, the recent Bahama videos. And Sarah told me today he come out floundering like a dog when he gets his ears wet in the water and looks like he's gonna drown. That's what Nick looked like in that video. Boom. Can we have that was the like so three minutes? <laughs> can we have the soy and wasabi already? Because this yellow jack is calling my name. Mm. Folks at home, a yellow jack is like the most common fish you'll ever see spear fishing, and it is so good. It's almost frozen, so yeah. it feels it's tougher little, than it is. One way you can keep from getting any bad bacteria eating raw fish is freeze it and that's what we did we've only been home for like an hour and a half but it didn't take that long once i cleaned it and cut it in little chunks Yum. i could eat that whole plate mm -hmm. you want to try it sure Why not? oh boy look at that oh that's good what you got over there <laughs> oh, that's the baby food you got it's me about to eat. It's cauliflower. It's mashed cauliflower. Have you ever seen a cauliflower look like that? No, it's good. Trust me, you're gonna like it, Gabe. It's like it, I don't even think I've ever even had cauliflower. It just it doesn't look good, but it tastes good. It looks like soupy grits. This fish right here though is insane. Jake missed out going to eat steak. He traded us out big time tonight. More for us. <laughs> One thing you got to know about Sarah Stanzik, she, she's pretty rough and 
If you're if you're looking, yeah, that's why we call her Sassy Sarah. If you're looking for like a pat on the back or a hug, she ain't giving it to you. I can assure you that. Man, that's good. Right now though, oh god, ooh, I got way, way, too, way too much wasabi in that bite. I was getting ready to end the video. Mm. Wait, try a bite of the cauliflower first. Oh man. <laughs> You're gonna like it. It's like healthy mashed potatoes. Yeah, mix the butter in it, grits. Potatoes. But listen, I have BPN right now. I can get my strong greens and strong reds, oh. and I don't have to worry about none of this. There's no greens or reds in here. It's white. Ain't bad. It's good, right? I need salt. Anyhow, definitely, I want to give a huge shout out to BPN for sponsoring this video, and that's not just me trying to like push it down your throat. We really do use it. It's helped me big time with all the traveling I do. So check out BPN. The link is in the description below. Check out Stan's fam and Sassy Sarah if you want to see more of her. More of her, sorry. I've been behind the camera a lot lately. You do all the editing now for Stan's fam, I hear. A lot of it. You need to come over to <laughs> Blue Gabe and Kelly Young. Nick won't fess up to that though. He just, people say, great video, Nick. And he says, thanks. <laughs> oh, he throws you, he oh, throws you under the, why are, you're, I'm over here trying to give you a shout out and you're over here sitting on the couch. I had a long day of fishing and not catching anything, Gabe. Well, you, we better catch something tomorrow. We're going to try to catch something tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, try a piece of the sushi. So what I was going to say earlier, before I inhaled a big wad of that wasabi, is thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Right now, though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.